Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to learn how Lightroom Classic keeps track of all the changes that you make to your images. I'll start by giving these first three images three stars, and then the next three two stars. As soon as I make these changes, Lightroom Classic automatically saves that information into the catalog. Now to save time, I've already added some additional metadata. We can see there's keywords and also copyright information. And as soon as I added that information, it was automatically saved into the catalog. Next, let's make a change in the develop module. I'll select all of these photos and then enable auto sync and then change them to black and white. Lightroom Classic will save all of those changes to the catalog. So really, you don't have to do anything after you make a change. Lightroom Classic will keep track of the changes automatically. Now let's toggle off auto sync and return to the grid view. If you're working with other applications such as Adobe Bridge, or if you want to rest assured that even if you lost your Lightroom catalog or it became corrupted, you would still have the changes that you've made to your images, you can choose to push the information into the individual files. To manually push the information, just select the photos and choose Metadata, Save Metadata to Files, or use Command-S on Mac or Control-S on Windows. Lightroom Classic is still keeping track of the changes in the catalog, but the information has also been pushed to the files. In the case of all of these different file formats, DNG, JPEG, PSD, TIFF, and HEIC, the information is saved within the file because those are not proprietary file formats. But the CR2 file is a proprietary RAW file. In this case, Lightroom Classic won't write the information into the file, but instead creates a secondary XMP sidecar file to store the information. We can right click or control click on Mac to view this image in the Finder or in Explorer. Here we can see all of the original files that now have the information stored in them, as well as the proprietary RAW file and the XMP sidecar file. Now, if you prefer to have Lightroom Classic save the metadata to the files automatically, you can choose the catalog settings. On Windows, they're under the Edit menu, and under Metadata, enable Automatically Write Changes into XMP. From now on, any change that you make will be saved not only to the catalog, but also to the individual files. The reason this isn't on by default is because if you're making changes to large volumes of images, you may notice a decrease in performance. To quickly pause saving to XMP, click in the identity plate to toggle it off. Then click it again in order to start it. A few tips before we wrap up. History steps are not saved to the files, but snapshots are saved. If you're working with Bridge and you want the color labels to be the same in Bridge and Lightroom Classic, the easiest thing to do is to choose Metadata, Color Label Sets, and select Bridge Default. I'll select these two images and tap the 6 key to give them a red color label. Then let's take a look at the images in Bridge. We can see the star ratings and color labels, as well as the metadata and the keywords. And all of the photos look like they did in Lightroom Classic, except for the PSD file. And that's because Bridge is using Camera Raw and you can't open a PSD file from Bridge directly into Camera Raw. If you do make a change to an image in Bridge, here I'll select the DNG file and click the Open in Camera Raw icon. Then I'll click black and white again to change it back to color and then select Done. When we return to Lightroom Classic, I don't automatically see those changes. However, I can choose Metadata and then read metadata from file, and Lightroom Classic will update the file with the changes that were made in Bridge and Camera Raw. Finally, to improve performance, when making edits to images in the Develop module, every time you move a slider, the catalog keeps track of the change, but the changes are only saved to the file or into the XMP sidecar file after the active image selection changes. In other words, when you move to another image. This is important when syncing files or collections of files because the changes will be updated and synced only after you select another image. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.